healing is a roller coaster and some days are better than others. And sometimes you're having a good day and you're up really high on the roller coaster and sometimes it's going upside down and loop de loops and then it starts going backwards and then it's upside down again and then you're in a spiral and then it's another loop de loop and then it goes really far down and really far up and it's like the biggest, fastest, most hectic roller coaster I've ever been on and I don't think it's ever gonna stop. I'm gonna be on that roller coaster for the rest of my life. What healing means to me is some, it depends what kind of like position I'm in. If I'm in a very sad position, healing means like nothing to me. Healing means like it's nothing. Just a word that doesn't mean anything. But when I'm like happy, sometimes it helps me and it gives me time to heal. Um, healing to me is means it takes a lot of time and you have to be willing to open up because it's not good to keep your emotions bottled up inside of you. Because one day you will burst you will burst out in anger or in fear if you keep it inside of you. Healing is a long process that everyone will go through in their life. One day I actually started drawing on a piece of paper. Every day I would come home like at the end of the day and I'd draw a little bit extra of a roller coaster. How I felt that day. I would like draw a straight line, maybe to a build-up, I draw it going down, a loopy loop or something like that. And it actually lasted about a month. I looked at it and I was like, wow, I would never ride that. I feel like it's impossible to ever completely heal from such a loss that we've all experienced. But I think with together and trying to help each other that so eventually the some of the pain might go away. And I know that the void in our heart like will never be filled and what we lost can never be replaced, but eventually I think we can laugh at some of the jokes that our loved ones made and that eventually we won't feel so much of the pain that we feel right now. And your back's against the Imagine your dad's not there for graduation. Imagine he's not there for your baseball games. Imagine wishing your heart was whole again. Imagine not having your father to walk you down the aisle on your wedding day. Imagine being at a father-daughter dance with your uncle or your grandpa and watching all your friends dance with their dads. Imagine having your dad so close to you and loving him your entire life and then watching him die slowly of cancer. Imagine not having your dad see you hit that walk-off hit in the ninth inning to win the game. Imagine never realizing when goodbye would be the last. Imagine thinking it was your fault and living with that the rest of your life. Imagine being the only one who lost a mom or a dad at a school. Imagine being in a room full of people and still feeling alone. Imagine forgetting the sound of your dad's voice. Imagine losing your father and having to grow up too fast and losing your childhood because of it. No matter how hard we try